All right, so you're still trying to get the Skelzor skeleton skin unlocked by completing the Wrath set. I'm going to show you exactly which treasures are dropped by which bosses, and I'm going to show you very quick and effective ways to farm for this. Um, <coughs> Payne's helping me out with this video today, and you see the Wrath set. The Wrathful Mask is dropped by the Cluster Bomber. In the lower courtyard, the very first courtyard that you get to, the wrath, the silver wrathful deity head is dropped by the uh, carpet bomber, which I'll go into more detail at in this video. And the gold wrathful deity head is dropped by the Pac Man or the brute, if you want to be canonically correct. So, anyway, once again, uh, you want to kind of form these treasures from backwards forwards. So, you want to make sure that gold wrathful deity head. Um, is the one that you farm for first if you don't have it even if you have the other ones or whatever once you've gotten that um, then it's okay to kind of come back you know the, the logic like I've said is that you don't want to go through uh, the first two bosses over and over to get to the third if you've been farming the first ones you want to start farming that last boss first so this is kind of assuming that you've already gotten the gold wrathful deity head and that now you're going after the Silver Wrathful Deity Head, uh, which is dropped by this guy, who spawns right after you place the second idol. If you watch uh, the videos that I have up for how to beat this map on crushing, you'll see exactly uh, what I mean by that, and you'll see really easy tactics to get here. We're playing on hard with just two people, which is what you want to do uh, because it gives you more lives with which to farm. And when I say farm, obviously, you can see what I mean is that we run up to the boss and kill him. And if he doesn't drop what we want, then we kill ourselves and that lets us start over. As long as you don't kill all the enemies. If we were to kill all the enemies here, it would give us a checkpoint. And if we were to kill ourselves after that, we would restart after the next checkpoint. So we're just going to run up here and just keep shooting him to death and kind of ignoring the rest of the enemies and see what he drops. Um, like I said, if you need some helpful tactics for getting through this map... Appreciate if you'd watch the other videos on crushing. You see, you drop the treasure right there, but it says elaborate amulets. That's not the treasure we want. We want it to say wrath. You want to see that silver wrathful deity head come up. And um, some people think that if you farm the levels on crushing, that that somehow increases your chance of getting the treasures that you want. But from my experience, that's complete nonsense. So we're just going to play on hard. And once again, if, if you only have two people, you get more tries before you run out of lives. Another very important thing to note is that once you do get the treasure, you need to either finish the map or just keep throwing grenades at your feet or whatever and dying. If you back out of the game, like if you hit start and back out, it won't save. So keep that in mind. 